for me, it wasn't cheap. It was a big investment or, okay, I'm not gonna say a bag is an investment. It was a big commitment um, in terms of, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just going to be a sit down uh, walkthrough of my bag collection. Um, I, I'm using the word collection very loosely here <laughs> um, because I'm, I'm not a collector of luxury bags or anything like that. I, I like a nice bag and I um, do a lot of research before I purchase the bag. Um, but I have a mix, I think I have like a decent mix of like uh, higher end, more luxury uh, bags. And then I also have more affordable um, everyday options that I also do love equally and I wear equally. So yeah, without further rambling, let's get to the video <laughs> before my battery runs out. Um, okay, so I thought about the different order that I should do this and then I couldn't think of a logical <laughs> order or the best order to talk through it. So I'm just going to do it kind of randomly. Um, the first bag I have here is this Charles and Keith um, brown saddle bag. It's not a saddle bag. It's not a Dior bag. Um, espresso brown bag. And Charles and Keith, I think, is a very underrated brand here in the U.S., um, but it's really popular in Asia. Uh, so I got this on my last trip to Singapore. I got it at um, one of their many malls. Um, but I really like this bag because it's, it's a very good casual everyday bag. It has gold class hardware that reminds me of the uh, Celine box bag. <laughs> and this um, clasp is also very reminiscent of the box bag, uh, which is on my list. <laughs> so um, that's where I got or that's where my desire came from. But yeah, I use this since I've gotten it, I've used it almost every day. It's my groceries bag, it's my um, dinner bag. <laughs> um, I don't know what else to say about this one. It's it's very good. It It's a crossbody um, and it's adjustable. There are many notches and you can punch new holes if you want. But you can also wear it as a um, shoulder bag and a longer shoulder bag too. So if you have a coat, it's not like all up in your armpit, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, all around, very good bag, good amount of room inside. Uh, let me show you the inside. So on the inside, it has, I have all my stuff in here uh, because I used it recently, but you can see um, it has two pockets on the inside and it just has like the perfect amount of room and uh, organization compartments. There's zipper uh, compartments in here and the straps are very comfortable. So I don't know if I should go into detail about each bag. I don't think so because then this will be a very long video. If there's any specific one that you guys are eyeing and want me to do a more detailed review, just um, let me know and I'll do that. But for the sake of just running through everything in a <laughs> timely manner, I'm just gonna just run through them all um, and give you like the overall impression. So overall, great bag. I love it. Um, love the color. I love the utility. And if you're looking for something that's an all around casual and a lot of functionality, I would really highly recommend this one. And it's a really good price too. Um, I forgot how much I got it for, but I will find it and link it for you. So yes, Charles and Keith. Okay, so this next bag is very near and dear to my heart. It was my first um, luxury bag purchase. I got it um, at the boutique when my um, now husband and I went to Paris um, where I actually got engaged on that trip. So um, the bag is, uh, let me take it out. It's the Chanel Classic Double Flap bag. Um, and this is in the size small. It's 
with the gold hardware, I believe. Yes, obviously, it's gold. Um, but yeah, this bag was such a struggle to get because we had to go to like, I believe five, not five, like two different boutiques and then the SA had to call a few different people because I wanted in the size and I wanted the gold hardware but there was only one left or so they said. I mean, I don't think they lied to me. Um, but she said there was only one left and it's all the way across town so I went across town and um, you know said yes to the bag <laughs> um, but yeah this bag is um, not cheap <laughs> for me it wasn't cheap it was a big investment or okay I'm not gonna say a bag is an investment it was a big commitment um, in terms of cost. When I saw the interior, um, like this wine interior with the gold um, initials, I, I just like, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it was me romanticizing, you know, Chanel, but it just, it's such a classic bag and symbol to me. Not a symbol of like how much money you make or anything like that thing, but it means a lot to me and I bought it. You know, like no one bought it for me. I bought it for myself. I worked really hard for the few years that I've been out of school and we were in Paris and those of you who have bought um, luxury goods from a French brand, it's you save so much money doing it um, in France. So. I just thought if I was ever going to do it, I should do it then because it was the perfect opportunity. Um, and also the prices I knew were just going to go up from there. So um, even though I had um, another bag on my list that I was also considering, which is the Celine Fox bag, um, I decided to purchase this first because I knew the price of this would be going up. So. Yep, really love this bag. It's, I don't wanna ramble on too much about it. It goes with almost everything. It's my dress up bag, it's my wedding. <laughs> it's my wedding bag, um, like, you know, bags you take to other people's weddings. Um, you can dress it up, you can dress it down gold. I, it goes with all of my jewelry. It's in black, you know, I don't know what else to say. It's just classic and I know a lot of people are hating on Chanel right now because of their price increase. Uh, ratio to the quality um, but you know all that aside I love this bag I worked hard to to buy it at that price and I don't regret it so that was the Chanel and then the next bag is this cute little one that has been through hell and back with me <laughs> um, this is a coach mini um, bag, mini crossbody, and this is the cutest thing ever. I got this um, in LA a few years ago, but look at it. It's so cute. It has the classic coach clasp. <laughs> um, the inside, it doesn't fit like very much it's pretty small but it fits everything that you need like a wallet your phone um maybe a lipstick or two chapstick whatever like it's this like you can see it's pretty wide it's just thin off like uh vertically but this is such a cute very minimal like going out dinner type bag or you could wear it casually with most of my bags, I say you can dress it up or dress it down, and I do mean that. Like, I've worn all of them in a casual and more uh, formal setting, and they they work. So, that's something that I always keep in mind when I make a purchase. I don't like just buying something that I can only use for, like, a very specific occasion. Because then you don't get your, your wear out of it. Your, your cost per wear out of it. Um, so 
I really love this one. It's very cute. It's really old. If they, I'm, I'm not sure if they still have it, but if you're, you know, looking for the everyday classic little cute little black bag um, that goes with everything and can go with you everywhere, this is it. So the chain, shit, what's in here? <laughs> the things you find in your bags. <laughs> um, I got a pin of my business school. Um, okay. So maybe there's money in here. No, of course not. Um, the chain you can actually, uh, so it has the circular clasp and the attaching string and you can like attach it like this and this will actually shorten the uh, chain because like you said I'm a shorty so I sometimes actually most crossbody are like way too long on me it just hits me like right at my butt which I think is a little too long I like it to hit like my waist so by doing that and like crossing it over once inside right here you can make it short and it's just it's, it hits like right here so um, yes love this one I haven't uh, worn it too often recently because I got the Chanel but um, still a very good bag still love it keep it in the pouch okay and then my next bag is my is a tote from Madewell this was my college purchase it was around the time when literally every blogger I saw had a Madewell tote um, it's really it's not in great shape uh, in terms of marks and stuff like it has a lot of scrubs because I use this literally to do everything and to go everywhere like it had my laptop my book like I use it as like literally my book bag when I didn't have my textbooks and stuff um, and I use it as my travel bag like my carry-on not carry-on but like the um, personal bag look I have my dog's poop bag in here, okay? So this literally went through a lot with me. And honestly, if you're looking for a an affordable tote that will last for a really long time and is like quality, quality leather, Madewell is the way to go. Um, I even got my initials on it. <laughs> and I when I bought this, um, you know, I was still in college and didn't have much money, so it was pretty expensive to me at the time. And I remember when they, when I ordered it and I had the initials on it, I just felt so fancy. Like, <laughs> it's so funny. Um, but yeah, love this bag. She still um, travels with me sometimes, uh, short trips and stuff. There's so much scuff on it, but honestly, I'm. I'm the type of person where I don't like baby my bags. And maybe if I had like a an Hermes Kelly or something, I'll like baby it. But I'm totally okay with there being scrubs and things like that because I actually think leather looks better with age. So yeah, this is the everyday tote. And then the next bag is another crossbody. This is a, I forgot where I got it from. Actually, it's my sister's, but I stole it from her and she didn't ask for it back, so it's mine now. <laughs> but before I got the Charles and Keith bag, this was my everyday brown crossbody. It's this faux crocodile um, imprint. So it's like a little different, you know, than just your typical brown bag, which is why I gravitated towards it or why I stole it from her. Gold hardware, um, it has like all the compartments you need. And this was like a trending bag a few years ago. 
um, like everybody had this. I forgot the brand. I'll insert the brand somewhere right here, but I just thought I'd mention this. I don't wear it as much now, um, but I think it's still very cute and honestly timeless. Even if I don't see it too often now on social media, like this is a pretty good bag. It's crocodile, faux crocodile. It has all the compartments you need, the gold hardware, the um, chain itself is adjustable and it doesn't look cheap. It looks expensive and I, I don't think this was pricey at all. This was very affordable. So yes, I love this one. My next bag is my newest baby from Celine. I got this from or in from from Singapore a few months ago and it's the horizontal canvas bag in the Triumph canvas material so it's the can, it's canvas mixed with uh, calfskin leather this bag I got it um, kind of as the replacement to the Madewell bag I wanted a more um, sophisticated version of the Madewell tote um, for travel for my travel bag, um, I've always, like I said, used the Madewell tote, which is not very structured, and that's why a lot of people like it as a travel personal item bag, because they just throw shit in there and, you know, they're good to go, but I find that when I travel and I'm just throwing stuff in there and there's no compartment or structure, things just get lost. Most of the time, my password's like tucked away in like some corner and then I'm freaking out because I think I forgot it somewhere or I lost it. It also, when you go, you know when you go through TSA and you have to put your stuff through the conveyor belt, because it has no structure, it used to always like fall over and then my shit would like come out. I don't know, maybe these were just excuses for me to buy this. <laughs> but, um, it's not, okay, no, let's be serious here. This is my sophisticated replacement to the Madewell tote. And like I said, I got it because I was looking for a travel bag that was more structured. Um, it has shape to it, but it's not rigid. It, the handle is very sturdy. It has gold hardware and there's a lock here, but you can take it off to make it a little lighter. I just keep it on. It's not that big of a deal to me. There's um, a lot of room in here and also zip compartments for like, like I said, my passports and like all the essential stuff that you need to like dig in and out. It has the button clasp. It, it doesn't like zip, which is totally fine because you do want pretty easy access to your stuff, but you don't want it to um, be completely open like with the uh, regular tote. So this is her in all of her glory. I love it. Um, they have a different size. They have the mini version of this, but like I said, because it's a travel bag and it's gonna be my personal items, I like to take advantage of um, putting as much stuff as I can. The stitching of this bag is beautiful. So it has like the leather edges and there's weight stitching all over. So you can, like it's not just a regular canvas bag, you know? So gold hardware, snap buttons, pockets for organization and a lot of room. So. Overall, a very good travel bag. You could also use it as a work bag if you um, have a lot of stuff that you go into the office with. I think this is a very cute, um, sophisticated. The color goes with everything. I mean, it's just brown. <laughs> um, it has the Triumph logo all over it, which um, I really liked. I, I'm not a big logo person but this it's very faded so it's not like in your face um yeah I don't know what else I can say it's all overall just a very good uh, throw all your shit type of bag you know okay 
Um, my next one is another coach bag that was actually a gift. I have not worn her that often yet, but I love the color. It's like creamy, rich, like ivory white. And it has the new, I think it's new because, or it has the C coach clasp. You know what I'm talking about <laughs> with the coach tag on it. It comes with a crossbody strap. For these type of bags, I don't actually like wearing it as a crossbody because my mom does that. <laughs> so <laughs> I think, um, yeah, I, I like it as um, just a handheld type of bag. The leather is structured, but it's not rigid. It has good organization and there's magnetic, there's both a zipper compartment in the middle and a magnetic clasp to keep um, the, the bag somewhat closed. It's a very good size as well for my frame. I really love the color. I think it's a very good size. The handle is also a very good accent color. It's like a beige, um, like a beige tan, which really contrasts well with the white. The inside also is like um, just the typical brown, more yellow chestnut brown color. Overall, I love the color. I really like the shape. I like the size. It's a good brunch bag if you want something to hold and not uh, wear as a crossbody. Uh, I think it's a little bit fancier than the typical just casual crossbody because it's a handheld um, and also the color white typically is more dress up or formal but daytime so I think it's a good daytime type of bag okay so the next bag is um, another tote but I got this a few years ago when I was still working um, in an office uh, like when I had to go into the office so this is the Tory Burch tote it's just a classic good work bag and I w at the time I was looking for a, uh, a good size tote bag for work that was that had shape but can fit my laptop and all the essential items. What I love about this tote is how compartmentalized everything is. Like, I still have pens and stuff in here. Um, yeah, there are zipper pockets, there are uh, pouches for like your pens and phones and passports or whatever booklets you need. So many compartments. Um, so it's a, it was like a very good price, medium price bag at the time. Um, very sturdy, the straps are very thin. The most important thing for me was just the proportion of the bag to my body. I wanted something that, like I'm a small person, so I feel like if I had like a huge bag, I would just look like a little girl pretending to go to work. You know what I mean? So that's why I really like this one because it was a good size for my frame. It was just classic black, good leather, gold hardware, a lot and a lot of organizational pouches and stuff. So it met my need at the time. I don't have or I don't use it as much now because I don't go into the office. So I might try to sell this, but I doubt it would like go for much now so that's why I'm just gonna you know keep it because who knows maybe one day I'll have to go to an interview and um, yeah okay that's a good uh, use case for this it's a good interview bag <laughs> if people are still going to interviews in person these days good professional tote and then the last one that I'll mention because I really love this um, it's not my only wallet but it's my current favorite, and it's the uh, Celine Triumph uh, Olded Wallet, I believe it's called. 
I got this at the same time I got the um, Celine the Cabis bag and the reason I got it was because all of my wallets were just um, like a flat wristlet type of shape and I have a lot of like smaller crossbody so if I use those wallets it literally would take up just the whole bag or sometimes it wouldn't even fit so I was looking for something compact like this so at the time I was traveling in Southeast Asia so cash was king and also in specifically in Cambodia um, they don't accept cash that's been wrinkled or like folded weird they, I don't know they're very weird and specific about like US dollars because they do take US dollars um, so I wanted a wallet that could hold cash so that's why I didn't just have like a card holder um, but yeah anyway long story just to say that this bag met all of those needs it holds your cash like it can hold a lot of cash without it being too bulky um, it has a coin pouch in the middle your like five or six card holder placeholder and it all just folds compactly into this beautiful little piece of cake <laughs> okay um, but yeah it fits perfectly into my Charles and Keith flat bag um, all in all a very good wallet I would say and the leather has worn pretty great since I've gotten it um, which is probably four months now um, there are like tiny little stent uh, like where the flap closes but it's not noticeable and like I said I don't really care <laughs> I mean my thing is like would it even like what's the point if you buy these things and you don't use it and you baby it too much you know I mean it's good to take care of your stuff for sure but balance <laughs> um, okay those were my main bags and one wallet collection um, I have I think I have a good mix of high and lows um, I'm not like I said a luxury bag collector or anything like that um, all of my purchases whether it's uh, medium price low price or higher priced um, I do a lot of research and I make sure that I can use it as often and for as many use cases as possible um, I don't like just buying things because uh, they're trendy <laughs> especially with luxury bags because they're expensive, you know? Um, but if you want an in-depth review on any of the bags I've mentioned, just let me know and I would be happy to do that for you. But I think this video is already getting too lengthy, so I'll just leave it here and thank you for watching. If it was helpful, please give this a like. If you like to see fashion lifestyle related content, please subscribe. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!